Two shipwrecks and their artefacts, possibly dating as far back as the 14th century, have been found in Singapore waters. They are among the oldest to be discovered here, giving key insights into the nation's maritime history and heritage. For a first look, we're joined by Yo Kok Siang, National Heritage Board's Director for Heritage Research and Assessment. Mr Yo, uh, welcome. Uh, given Singapore's maritime history, uh, are you surprised that shipwrecks uh, had not been found earlier in our nearby waters? Hi, evening. Um, of course, Singapore's uh, history is very uh, closely linked to our marine time uh, heritage, uh, the trade routes of the world. Um, I think historic shipwrecks have been discovered in various countries around the region. Uh, and these shipwrecks and their artifacts do give us insights into the trade that existed centuries ago. Uh, there was shipwrecks found in Singapore waters before. One is the Empress of Asia. That was a World War II ship that sunk in Singapore's waters back in 1942. But these two shipwrecks that we discovered in Petrobranca, it's uh, very different. It's from a completely different time period. Uh, one of the shipwrecks that we discovered uh, contains uh, Chinese ceramics that possibly date back to the 14th century, while the second shipwreck that we discovered uh, can be dated back to the 18th century. So these two shipwrecks, I think, are very significant uh, in telling uh, the marine time history of Singapore. Yeah, tell us more about these uh, two sites around Pedro Branca. What do we know so far then about how the two ships ended up on the seabed there? Well, Pedro Branca is a rocky outcrop and the waters around Pedro Branca are shallow. So and it's, it's part of the kind of a major navigational trade route as it is today. Uh, and because of this rocky outcrop and the shallow water conditions, uh, it poses a navigational risk and accidents must have happened in the past, uh, resulting in these uh, two shipwrecks uh, being sunk off the waters around Petrobranca. Of course, we need to do a lot more research into the artifacts, to the finds, in order to uncover more information uh, about these two shipwrecks. Uh, tell us, uh, how were these two wrecks first discovered? And you did mention the waters being shallow, but I'm sure there must have been, you know, challenges around the excavation process itself. Back in 2015, there was a marine time uh, operation that was taking place uh, and there were divers there to remove uh, modern day debris and shipwrecks uh, to sort of clear the waters and make sure that they're safe for navigation. And two of the divers uh, by accident discovered what we call celadon plates in the, the waters, under the water. And they took some of these back uh, and they were trying to figure out what to do with these plates. Who do they hand it to? And by sheer coincidence, at a point in time, there was an archaeology excavation that was taking place in Empress Place in front of the Victoria Theatre and Victoria Concert Hall. And there were the excavation and the artifacts from Empress Place was uh, shown in TV and the newspapers. So the two divers saw these artifacts and found that they were very similar to the ones that they have recovered from the water. So they approached the Isis Yusuf Ishak archaeology team and handed over the artifacts to the team over there. So that started a series of excavations that took place from 2016 all the way to 2019. And once that was completed, the archaeology team then went out to survey the surrounding waters around Petrobranca. And through that survey, uh, they discovered another shipwreck, which we call uh, Shipwreck 2. Uh, so that again sparked off another series of excavations that took place from 2019 all the way to uh, middle of this year. Well, thank you for sharing these remarkable discoveries with us. We've been speaking with Yo Kirk Xiang, National Heritage Board's Director for Heritage Research and Assessment.